When George retracted the grabbers, he saw the crabs run away. And then he saw something else. Something's wrong. Hey, pizza, bring him back fast. Wait, what is it, George? Did you find it? lost it. Uh, steer him after it. I can't. I lost the camera. I lost power. I, I have no control. You mean... We have to let the monkey drive the submarine. <laughs> George, you have to pilot the ship. <laughs> Use the control stick on the dash. <laughs> George figured out how to steer quickly and bumpily. Now that he had control, George took command. Because a monkey always gets his bleeping thing. Sounds like he's getting warmer. He's chasing it. Of course. George doesn't know the meaning of give up. Or dental floss. went out, the bleeping stopped. <laughs> oh. George, I'm afraid that means the battery died. You'll never find it in the darkness. <laughs> George was disappointed he couldn't find the gift. He went so deep, there was nothing down there at all. Nothing? There was lots down here living in the dark. And the fish were completely different from the ones he saw closer to the surface. Other lit up fish, too. They were swimming around something. The recorder. <gasps> George didn't know if they were just curious about that thing or helping him. But he couldn't have found it without the help of his glowing fish friends. Saved. <laughs> we asked the right monkey for help. <laughs> Thought you might like a copy of the last thing it recorded. <gasps> <laughs> it's always nice to have pictures of your friends. And how many friends can light themselves for a perfect picture every time? George felt awful. He'd kept the man up again. Okay, George, I'm going on my run. 
Maybe after a cup of tea. If only he had some way to quietly find the kitchen in the dark. He couldn't see or hear his way. Maybe George could taste his way. George, don't eat off the floor. Use a sponge. Okay, so he couldn't use taste. What other senses were there? Want some honey in your oatmeal? Maybe touch. <laughs> if George felt honey with his feet, he'd know he was going the wrong way. <laughs> he was so excited about his path, he could hardly wait until he couldn't fall asleep to try it out. <laughs> the honey was working. He was finding his way by touch. <gasps> Trouble is, once you step in honey, it sticks to your feet. And before you know it, it feels like it's everywhere. George, what are you do- Oh. Ooh. George needed to feel his way with something less messy. Maybe something soft. Go for a ride, George. George's soft path had to work. <laughs> what? Because the man's race was tomorrow, and he needed to get some sleep. Oh, ah! oh. I'm okay. George's stuffed animals would tell him where the furniture was, but he needed more soft things to lead him to the kitchen. George sure hoped his path worked. Sorry, so late. I kept falling asleep. Big race tomorrow. Gotta go to bed early. Right after supper. <laughs> George didn't even have to wait until bedtime to try his soft path out. He did it. He'd made it to the kitchen, and he didn't wake the man. <laughs> In fact, he used his path many, many, many times. Because he was so excited about the man's race tomorrow, he was the one who couldn't sleep. The next morning, George was there to cheer on the man as he swam. And rode. And ran his way to the finish line. Oh, did you see that, jo uh, George? But George missed the finish. All that walking around made a monkey very sleepy. Remember, George? We almost lost all the bones here. <laughs> ah. The 
delivery guy took the wrong box. Still four bones. We know that we went to the restaurant after we left here, but did we go straight to the restaurant or did we go to the lake first? Wait, is that a noodle on your cheek? Oh, George, how many times have we practiced wiping your mouth after eating soup? After eating soup? You had soup before we went to the park. That means we went to Paschetti's, then the park. Uh -huh. ah, we figured out our path. We left home, bought fruit, ate soup, I fell in the lake museum. Uh -huh. <gasps> the box is bulging. We still had all four bones in the park. <laughs> so the bone has to be between the lake and the museum. Oh, this looks bad. Bad, bad, bad. Is there any chance they'll find that bone before five? But it must be here if we went right from the park to the museum. <laughs> the pictures had to be in the right order, didn't they? Yes, I'm drippy because I fell in the lake. What is it? I'm wet, then we deliver it, and I'm dry. That's right, I forgot. We went home again. The lobby wasn't just the first step on their path. It was also the next to last step. So we left home, bought fruit, ate soup, I fell in the lake, went home again to get dry museum. <laughs> sure, I remember. You left the box in the lobby while you changed. Then your friend took that picture as you left in the dry clothes. George noticed something else. What was that white blur? Huh? George, please, wait a second. If I explain, maybe he can help find the bone. Ah. The bone! Hunley, where did you find that? Oh. Hunley knew exactly where he found it. Why don't you take a break? There's a surprise for you on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> We have one minute to get to the museum. Oh, this is going to be so embarrassing. Ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're all hoping for. <laughs> okay, it's done. Let's go. No! Oh. Oh. George, I'm stuck. I apologize for what you are about to see. <gasps> Look! The, the oldest complete Ankylosaurus over there! How can I ever thank you for keeping this from being embarrassing? Primeiro ele colou as partes do coração. Depois começou a carimbar. O cartão ficou ótimo, mas preparar o carimbo demorou muito. 
O dia dos amigos acabaria logo. Ele precisava dar um jeito de carimbar muitos cartões bem rápido. George apostava que poderia carimbar super rápido em um pula-pula. Mas o carimbo de pula-pula fazia muita bagunça e era difícil de controlar. Bom trabalho, George. Tudo bem. Eu vou entregar o resto dos cartões do Dia dos Amigos. Você quer vir comigo? Ah, tá legal. Ah, eu não vou demorar. Seja um macaco bonzinho no Dia dos Amigos. Toda aquela limpeza demorou demais. Como terminaria os cartões? E ele ainda não tinha uma maneira rápida de carimbá-los. Talvez tivesse um carimbador rápido no armário. Nada de carimbador ali. Estivesse. O triciclo carimbador seria muito melhor do que o carimbo de pula-pula. O triciclo carimbador passava por onde você guiasse. Mas o triciclo carimbador esmagou os cartões. E depois os comeu. Fez a maior bagunça no carpete também. O dia dos amigos estava quase acabando. Jorge tinha menos tempo do que antes. Ainda restavam três cartões para dar aos seus amigos. que a máquina de Waffle estava desligada. Mas um dos cartões estava arruinado. Só que ele poderia fazer um novo no seu super rápido carimbador. Ele só precisava substituir as formas de Waffles por formas de corações. Ele tinha que andar logo para aprontar os cartões a tempo. Os cartões estavam ótimos, mas precisavam de um toque pessoal. Você que fez, George? Ha, ficou o máximo! Você quer ser meu amigo? Meu amigo! Meu grande amigo! Meu grande amigo! É meu amigo! É meu amigo! Está sempre comigo! George had an idea. He'd broken a few things before, too. George! 
George! George! Okay, he'd broken lots of things. And that's why he had lots of art supplies at home. close, George, but it has to look the same as the old nose. Why? It's important. It's a tradition. Ah. George remembered the old nose had red and gold stripes, and it was curvy. He didn't have anything like that, so he'd have to make the new nose. <laughs> Out of red and gold yarn. George, but that nose is a little too droopy. The trick was to find the right material. <laughs> Felt wouldn't do the job. And neither would Ribbon. Oh. <laughs> Pipe cleaner's great idea, George. They're strong and bendy. rest of the dragon head is covered in red cloth. We need red cloth to cover the new nose. And fast. The napkins were perfect. And a little while later, the nose was as good as new. The dragon looks wonderful. But it's too late. The parade has already started. Wait, you said the parade ends with the dragon dance. Yeah, but it's so late, I'm not even sure we can make it before it ends. Are you kidding? We'll take a shortcut through the park. With all the practice we've had, we're dragon masters now. <laughs> okay, let's try. So they were like a dragon. It's nice and wide open here. Nothing to watch out for. They kept their eyes forward. <laughs> they stayed in a line. <laughs> and kept an even distance. That dragon could have hurt my little baby. By the time they reached the other end of the park, the three were dragon masters. We did it! Great dragoning, guys. You're an awesome tummy and tail. Aww. Gracias. <laughs> uh, where did she go? Hey, Dad. Lily, where have you been? Never mind. I have some bad news. Your cousins are still stuck in traffic. There's no one to help you be the dragon. I'm sorry. Hang on. I know a couple of experts. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> That's how, with a little practice and the right materials, a monkey became a dragon. 